The building blocks that makes for good architecture is a keen observation of our culture and our psychologies and our desire to elevate beyond what we are today. And I think this is what makes me want to be an architect and be, or be more than an architect, but someone who starts to find ways of making sense of the world. Our identity is a, is a very complicated issue for us, and we're still dealing with it. And I think a lot of that actually um, infiltrates into our work in terms of identity and um, the city and you know people and culture and how that how that works with architecture and design. We created Optive to see how we can actually assist to create a new sustainability in health, in wellness, in social stabilization. The way we actually create a team to design this environment mirrors the kind of life that we imagine could be lived there, which is about co-creation, about integration, about bringing all kinds of influences and perspectives centered around the same objective. With Octave, the view, the landscape, the inside space coming together and encouraging people to be able to actually take advantage of nature and be part of nature. I think that in all of projects from Yongho, Kowloon to us, those are consistent. The main influence for the houses in the Suzhou project has been the Chinese courtyard house. It's such an important part of Chinese living, and we want to maintain it, honor it, perpetuate it. Suzhou is a way of creating a community that speaks to wellness of both mind and of body. We are in China and everybody is going at a rate, at an unprecedented rate and the idea that we have to share, we have to collaborate, not just admirable, it is very much needed.